Saboteur here. I'm going to show you how to defeat Mendez in Resident Evil 4 Chapter 6. I'm using the Red 9 and the Bolt Thrower. When the fight starts, run straight towards him, straight around the back, get in about three or four shots. When he twitches or he's about to turn around, then you want to just strafe around him while pushing towards him and get in another three or four shots. As long as you're pushing towards him and you're right next to him, he's not going to be able to grab you. And there we go, we're getting a stab in the eye because we've done enough damage. Now, this bit here, get in some more shots and then run straight towards him. If you're too far out, he's going to grab you with his grab. And again, while you're pushing towards him, just strafe around him. And there you go. I've done enough damage now to get in a second stab. If you don't get enough damage in, sometimes he'll stop and he stretches. You'll hear that stretching noise and he twists his body around and he'll swing around and hit you. So you can run towards some ladders at the back there and get up the upper decks. This phase of the fight you'll be automatically placed at the bottom floor again. You might want to step forward straight away because there'll be some fire and you may get hit by that because you're going to need to strafe sideways because what he's going to do is throw some fire planks at you when he stretches his arm all the way back that's when you run, a, run sideways and both of them will miss and it's usually probably better to wait for him to pick up the barrels first to shoot him before you climb up the ladder otherwise it'll be quick enough aim for the barrels and they'll explode and that does a lot of damage okay now while he's swinging around the back there like some half scorpion monkey get as many shots in on him he's going to alternate between the fire planks and the barrels you can shoot that will explode but eventually what's going to happen, he's going to start leaping towards you. So sometimes you'll get prompts to dodge, and sometimes you don't. You just have to be lucky. But uh, again, there's a lot of room to run back and forth up here without having to worry about the fire too much. And he's going to leap forward now, so I'm going to use my mine attachments. I've got on my bolt thrower, the upgrade, and that seems to stun him. And that's going to do a lot of damage as well. Otherwise, use a shotgun if he's close enough. But I like sticking with these two. These are my all favorites at this time first playthrough I've played with this game. Alright, so there you go, Mendez is down and another boss fight over. Please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you all next time.